Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Well, I don't think it'll be quick, but it is a reading for you. Um, it's a daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, um, so off camera, well, firstly, let's talk about this portal. So we have 12, 12, 21 coming up tomorrow. Today is 12, 11. Um, so that reduces to 333. Three, three. So if you have been seeing 333, three, three, what that, you know, uh, what those numbers uh, in that uh, order and that sequence means sometimes is um, it can mean like an invitation to move forward. So it's time for you to move forward on something, okay? Don't stay uh, stuck or stagnant. Understand that there's great potential, especially if you're in a creative en endeavor. If there is some originality about you or what you do, it says move forward. Don't stay stuck. Don't toil. Don't question yourself. Don't overthink it. Move forward, however that looks for you, okay? Also, it talks about meditation, so that quiet space, you know, that time in the quiet where you quiet your mind. And sometimes you can go into meditation with a question. Therefore, you're looking for answers and you'll get your answer. Okay. So meditate on that question there so you can get your answer. Um, also, it talks about uh, consciousness, maybe even Christ consciousness, uh, justice, compassion, and I believe truth. Um, so the three there, justice, compassion, and truth. Um you understanding, you know, and you understanding that is the really the basis of consciousness of, um, to be, uh, you know, one of the ascended masters or be ascended in your mind and in your spirit, in your heart space. So let's close that out. Uh, so, um, it also talks about true alignment. Okay. So, when you see 333, you know that you're in direct alignment with the universe, with God, spirit, whatever you believe in. You're you're in the right place at the right time. Everything is in its place, okay? Everything is accordingly, okay? Um, also, this, this could just be a call for you to socialize more. Get out there. Speak your truths. Have some fun also when you're seeing 333. Life isn't all about, you know, work, drudgery, and just, you know, all of that. You know, have some fun balance also um and then you may have a choice to make okay it can be in anything love career family whatever you have a choice uh meditate on your choice and then move forward okay so that uh 12 12 12 is that portal for you to you know the basis of this move forward operate in consciousness justice compassion and truth okay be fair um you know uh be as compassionate as possible. Uh, also, always operate in truth. All right? So let's get into it. Um, off camera, when I was shuffling for you, Aquarius, what I got for you is that um, some of you need to uh, beware or be aware of dealing with certain people, places, situations, because it can affect your, your money and your stability. Some of you are going to find financial stability uh, between two different things or two different ways of earning income also. And I think some of you need to be aware of maybe accepting someone, uh, something back in your life because it will, you will come out of that true alignment. Okay. Things will unravel, um, kind of dismantle, uh, you know, what you've got going on. So be aware, be aware of who you align yourself with. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see. What do you want to tell the Aquarius? What do you want to tell? The, okay. Uh, oh, they came out just like this. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. And the two of, this is, this is, it came out. I shuffled. I, I swear it is. Okay. Be aware of, all right. So right now you're the Queen of Pentacles. So you're the doer. You're, you're, you're out making money. You could be a working mom or you could have more than one uh, stream of income. It says that you found financial stability between two different things. One of these things is dominating the other, or it will. Um, also it says in the two ones, be conscious of your decisions. Okay. In terms of, 
uh, people, place, or thing because making the wrong decision can lead you down the karmic cycle, a karmic road where you're going to have to work your way out of um, what you got into okay so uh be aware of that it says that there's two there's two paths to choose okay the tried and the true the, the trusted uh the the modest one uh the, the stable one and then there's the um maybe the spontaneous fun charismatic outgoing uh instable or not instable but unstable uh path here so you got to decide here uh, what else do we want to tell them? Okay. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Uh, some of you are planning to move, okay? Also, you're planning to move. You're, you're taking in account um, if you have children or other people that you take care of. If you're a caregiver with the Ace of Cups here, um, you're taking that into account. Um, also, it says that, you know, you have found a level of ascension, spirituality. You're studying spirituality. You are filled with, you know, good vibrations, uh, it, you know, good emotions about yourself. Maybe you're even redefining yourself or how the world looks at you, okay? Um, you have nothing but goodness, light, you know, uh, positivity to give. Uh, keep and stay in that vibration here. Yeah, the Queen of Wands here definitely um, attract with the three of swords okay um so with the queen of wands and the three of swords okay so some of you are trying to um go after your life purpose okay and it could be something with self-employment uh with the nine of pentacles the queen of wands you know that you're gonna have to let some other thing go or you're gonna have to you're gonna have to resign quit um, eventually let it go because once again in the two of wands we said that something is dominating the other thing okay or it will be so and some of you are just restless in your current job or your current position because there is um, an entrepreneurial endeavor that you want to embark on so it just makes you restless here what is this about the ace you can't make this up talks about uh, entrepreneurship with the ace of wands being motivated fired up fired up um, just really just getting out there, you know, understanding that it is a challenge, but you're up for the challenge. You are, you know, throwing your hat in the ring here. You get it. You know, you understand that you, you've got to do something with the Ace of Wands here. It could even talk about travel. It could even talk about, you know, um, all her travel for business. Okay. The Two of Pentacles. Okay. So you may be doing two different things to bring in income. It could seem stressful in terms of how people are looking at you, but it says in the two of pentacles, it's not really stressful. You have, it's a rhythm. Your, your life is coming into a, um, a rhythm or it will come into some self-sustaining rhythm here. Um, you're getting the groove or getting into the groove of doing these two different things or juggling, um, uh, two, maybe two different jobs, side hustle job. I don't know. Um, but, it, you know, you're doing it effortlessly. You also are doing two different things at the same time. So you could be learning something while trying to institute it. Like, okay, I'm learning how to make candles, but I'm still making candles, you know, at the same time. King of Wands. So we've got maybe even a karmic relationship here or one that's very uh, fiery, one that's very passionate. Yeah, you guys are holding back from one another with the strength card. It could have been toxic or the relationship was very turbulent at times okay um there was too much secrecy you know you just didn't know about the other person's um there was not enough intimacy like you there were still questions uh to be answered here you were always wondering you were always in a place of uh feeling like you needed to hold back because if you didn't you were going to take it get taken advantage of you may have even been taken advantage of by this person or you took advantage of someone else. So someone feels like they need to hold back from you. There's a couple here and then there's a woman. Um, it could be a man who has two different women. It could be a woman who has two different men, whatever. I don't know. Um, it's a situation here where um, maybe uh, it was an opportunity for you guys to be happy with one another and to kind of move into making it real and realized and strong and sturdy and long lasting, but it could, it just didn't get off the ground for whatever reason. Somebody wants you to forgive them and operate in compassion with them. 
there was no compassion here. Somebody said and did, somebody said some real tough things to one another. It could be the both of you uh, with the strength card. Somebody let somebody have it. Um, somebody didn't take the middle ground. Somebody didn't, you know, um, lead with compassion. They led with like a, maybe a, a strong hand here or strong arm. Somebody felt that way or some, or it is that way. What is this about? Okay. Definitely. Somebody wants to reconcile, come back together, renew. Uh, somebody feels like it's just best for us to be together. You know, we're just going to have to let bygones be bygones. Let's, let's, you know, make it happen. We need to heal this severed tie. So that means that somebody cut it off. Somebody left. Somebody walked away. Somebody said, no, someone said no more. Uh, now there's an, a party or maybe both parties want to come back together and make it work. There's somebody reminiscing, reminiscing over you. Um, yeah, that's what they're doing. They're reminiscing. They're having good thoughts about the past. Okay. They're wanting to connect backwards. They want to, you know, roots, wherever that is with you or, um, somebody wants to reconcile. There was a lot of argument. A lot of um, disagreement that turned into heavy arguments because of somebody's lack of in inability to, you know, communicate their emotions maturely. There's a lot of emotional immaturity. So if I'm mad, I'm not going to sit down and tell you that I am mad, why I am mad, and maybe how we can get through this. But I'm just going to be mad. I'm going to be, I'm going to kick stuff around. I'm going to slam doors. I'm going to be loud. I'm going to maybe ice you out. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to alienate you. I'm going to handle it, you know, very immaturely. And, and that is how somebody dealt with maybe situations here. So just added fuel to the fire. Somebody could want to come back around, maybe even apologize to you. They feel like you are their world. They feel like, um, they want to take the relationship to the next level for whatever reason. It could be that this person had other people, okay? If somebody went back to their past. So it says with the page of pentacles, somebody has a lot of options in love and they need to choose one. So maybe somebody is choosing you. They want to choose you. They feel like you are their world here. Uh, Aquarius, we do have the fixed sign showing up on the world card. Somebody feels like achievement, success. A higher vibration is with you, is about you. Uh, definitely success. Here we have that laurel wreath around that woman there. They feel like it's success with you. It's comfortable with you. You know, they've gone on this quest, or maybe you've gone on the quest, or there was a ghosting situation with the hermit car. You could be dealing with a Virgo. There was a situation where somebody said, you know what, I got to, you know, um, look within, self-discovery. I need to look on past, look at past, uh, you know, events consequences behavior so that I can make a decision in the now also in the hermit card it talks about a personality change so somebody's personality changed okay somebody got in, got enlightened about themselves therefore their personality shifted so it was like you know you can only do this type of energy work if you're alone you know proverbially you know not that you have to be like super super alone but it's very hard to go through, you know, a self-discovery journey while you're still trying to engage in a full-blown relationship. So that's why a lot of times you get ghosting from the hermit card because it's it will be it will be very hard for me to um, try to uh, go through this type of journey while still having to turn around. I have to stop looking at my lantern, past experience, turn around and engage with my loved one, with my partner, and show them affection, you know, it, it would be, it wouldn't work, you know, so s there was a situation where somebody left, and somebody said, you know what, I'm gonna go figure me out, uh, I'm gonna have, have a change of maybe personality, perspective, this also talks about personal philosophy, which could be kind of, you know, directly correlated with personality change, so the beauty of it is, Everybody gets to create their own, their own personal philosophy about themselves, about life, whatever. But somebody's shifting it here because somebody's saying, look, I'm not getting the outcomes that I want. So I need to go back to square one. I need to look at the past because the past is going to be a future uh, indicator, predictor of a future. If I don't, you know, kind of shift something, change something here. Yeah, the nine of cups. Yeah, somebody was like, I, I need to get what I want here and I'm not getting what I want. 
Um, somebody found in the nine of cups, it talks about finding emotional stability alone. So, um, happiness, fulfillment alone. We got two nines. The hermit card is a nine and all the nines are under the hermit. So definitely somebody said, I got to walk away from this because this was, this was crazy. You know, it, it was driving me crazy. I was up in my head too much here. Um, what do we have for advice? Uh, yeah, somebody is now in alignment with the universe in terms of where they should be, how they should be. The universe is shining down on you. Also, it talks about achievement, fulfillment, marriage, maybe even a baby. Uh, if not now, in the near future, what is the advice for the Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius. For 15 minutes, okay. Advice for the Aquarius. Uh, king of Pentacles. Okay, so you got the queen, starting out with the queen and then the king. Now, this could be that maybe a relationship is shifting because we did have the counterpart of Queen of Wands and King of Wands. So it's going to come from a very passionate place of just doing, you know, just doing stuff, you know, just moving around, having fun, having sex, doing this to maybe something more grounded for some of you or the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. It could be with the same person. It could be with a new person. Everybody's going to be different. Get your own personal reading. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, wow, the high priestess. Okay, some of you are going to do some work from home or you do work from home. You've worked from home for a very long time here with the high priestess. Also, you're listening to your intuition. You're not making any moves. You're learning. You have esoteric hidden knowledge here. Um, you are the conduit for uh, spiritual uh, downloads, energy. It's, it comes through you and then you give it to the world or you give it to... Um, yeah, you now make it manifest in the real world, in the 3D. Um, you get ideas, plans from from the universe, and, and then you, you institute them in the uh, empress here. You bring it to life in the 3D. It says also do nothing. The advice here right now is do nothing. Like, don't make any moves. Now, you can do stuff in your own life in terms of learning and bettering yourself and all of that stuff. But as far as going towards somebody and trying to make something work, the high priestess literally says do nothing. Also says that you are the chaste woman. Right now, you could be abstaining from sex. You know, you could be abstaining from relationships. You're in a place of maybe higher higher learning, uh, higher education. The high priestess also talks about maybe you're, you're uh, if you're a woman, then your menstrual cycles are aligned with the moon cycle so you know from the new moon to the full moon you may be seeing that you know maybe that your cycle is it starts around either or new moon full moon um also it says that you are the woman uh, you know above all other women in, in in one of these men's life it could be the same man king of pentacles king of wands but this person has put you on that pedestal here you're very desirable maybe even at a point that somebody is looking at you as unattainable um your personality is unfathomable. Like they can't wrap their mind around how vast y your energy, your knowledge is, especially if you are a woman, if you're a man, then, you know, you, you have this energy also. Um, with the high priestess, it says that you're listening to that steel voice. It's a voice that will sit with you a lifetime until you get it. Until your pineal gland opens up and then you actually hear from your God, your universe, whatever you believe in. But it, it it's it's a very still, patient voice. Nothing in the universe is going to make you do anything because you we have free will, right? So they will talk to you. They will speak to you. They will, you know, um, put things or people in front of you. But if you don't take to the nudges, then, you know, they just try again and try again. And it, it may take a lifetime. As you have probably heard, you, you, you'll you hear people say, man, it took me 50 years, 60 years to finally get it, to understand what I'm here for, what I should be doing, my, my true purpose, blah, blah, blah. You know, but of course, you know, the universe had probably been speaking to that person all of those 50, 60, 70 years, you know. So um, do keep that in mind, okay? So if some of you are hearing, oh, wow, I heard hearing that clarion call in this morning in my prayer, my ritual. I heard clarion call. Look that up for yourself. What does that mean for you? 
All right, let me keep going because the high priestess, okay, so the high priestess means so much, guys, and I really don't have that much time. When I was researching the high priestess years ago, I, it was like almost eight pages that I had written about that because so, so we don't have that much time. Um, the high priestess, uh, it's, she, it's such a beautiful energy. She is the divine feminine, okay? And then in, in the earth, um, you know, uh, she then turns it to the empress, okay? So let's see, what else? What is the advice for the Aquarius? I hope you're taking something from this. I'm, I'm just not right. Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. Y'all are so tapped in in terms of spirit and spirituality. It seems as if that's what you're focused on right now. Spirit is really speaking through you, to you. Um, you have something to offer the world, says the Queen of Cups, in terms of psychic ability, psychic insight, psychic download. People don't like it. People abhor it. They really want you to shut up. They want you to go away. They want you. To sh they want to shut you down. They're trying to figure you out. Some people feel like you're false. You're a false prophet. You're a false this. Some people are looking for the opportunity to tear you down. Okay. Keep in mind a lot of times, guys. Don't. How can I say this? Don't be so readily. So so um so quick to attack the person but do keep in mind it's spirits we have a spiritual realm it's spirits working with these people okay so let your first line of defense or attack be at the spirit that's working with them because a lot of times people are just you know little puppets for the energy that they allow in you know the vibration that they're on if they're already low vibrational and they live in base consciousness then guess what will we'll find them low vibrational energy, base consciousness energy. So attack the energy and not the person, okay? Because you're vibing really high. You got the high priestess, ace of cups, and the queen of cups. I mean, it's nothing can get past you. You are all knowing, all seeing. Um, this It says this: the all seeing woman, the wise woman, the seer, the people who come to, uh, the woman that people come to when they need to know. Um, there's nothing with this energy right here. This is a good witch. This is a good person who knows. This is somebody who's... Uh, at the base of them, the base of them, the heart of them, it's nothing but goodness, okay? You know, keep in mind, you know, hey, we feel with the lion and the lamb, okay? So we're going to figure out which one we need to be with you. Sometimes we need to be the lion, sometimes we'll be the lamb. But um, this is a person who's filled with nothing but goodness. If this is for you, let me know down in the comment section. Put some put some cups down there, cups cups of water or put water down there because you are filled with uh spirit here wow this is this is um if you are studying spirituality if you're just trying to get to a better place in terms of uh your vibration getting out of negative vibrations what else advice knight of pentacles very nice this talks uh, all right okay wow 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 okay all right this talks about um all right so i'm gonna relate it really quickly to two different things all right so the knight of pentacles t firstly talks about guardian angel and we've been talking about spirituality and we've been talking about downloads and insight okay so you have a guardian angel here also guarding guarding you and it's so funny because if you look up the knight of pentacles and guess what guys you can get tarot classes with me if you want to learn the tarot if you want to get your own deck of cards pull cards for yourself loved ones or whatever um you could learn the tarot with me i'm going to link the classes below but anyway if you look up the knight of pentacles it talks about a guardian angel and it says that the, the knight of pentacles is like a bulldog you know um they're uh they're firm they're they're uh you know they're stuck you know almost stubborn so you have like a firm stuck bulldog of a guardian angel around you aquarius too so nothing is getting past uh this energy nothing is penetrating you especially those who mean you uh no well they don't mean you any well uh you know they mean you harm or um they don't have well wishes for you that there's ill wishes for you um also it says that um hard work dedication is paying off for you okay especially for some of you who are um communing with spirit, engaging with spirit, learning about, learning about yourself. Okay. Um, it says that you're very consistent. All right. Um, you're being very consistent in your spirituality, something y'all are doing every single day. Some of y'all are doing some rituals, some spirits, some rituals, some 
praying some type of energy work every single day, every single day. Wow. I just keep hearing every single day and whomever is coming against you or wanting to come against you is so blocked that they're not even really showing up here. It's just, I can feel the vibration of it. It's just the universe wanted to kind of, um, confirm to you how protected loved you are because wow I, oh my gosh I've never felt this way before I feel like crying I don't I don't I'm a true Aquarius okay I don't cry <laughs> um wow this okay I need to take a second This has never happened. Okay. Some of you have felt attacked your entire life. You have felt a negative vibration around certain people just for being you. You showing up as you. And the universe is trying to get you to a place of understanding this is you. This is what you're here for. You are the light in a dark place. And as soon as you surrendered to the fact that this is you, this is what you offer the world, this is what you offer people, things will get a little bit easier for you. You really will step into self-awareness. Some of you are so tired of dumbing yourself down and taking, always having to take a step back because you're you're not trying to be offensive or you, or you don't want your energy to offend. But if you're the light in a dark place, then you are offensive. I've been leaving here. Um, I, I pull a moonology card for you guys. Oh, shit. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. This is this is <laughs> wow. Because you are good enough, Aquarius, full moon in Virgo. The fullness of you is really coming forward where you need to allow it to come forward. Whew, this is, this is. If you feel this way, if you felt this way, if you felt like an alien in your own family, in your own friend group that you, you know, you get to choose your friends, but even feeling like you don't belong there or there was always some discord or dissension or jealousy just outright jealousy just for showing up as you this reading is for you Aquarius wow all right well all links are below you can um again learn the tarot with me the link will be below I am live here every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday night uh, 9 30 p.m eastern standard time also now guys you can find me on keen Dot com keen.com the link is below you can talk to me or chat with me uh for 10 minutes for 199 so those of you are at a place where you know it's the holiday season you have overspent you have underspent you don't have enough to spend 199 can't beat it with a stick click that link um you can talk to me for 199 10 minutes 199 um and if you're having trouble with that link, do send me an email so we can get all of that figured out, okay? Aquarius, many blessings to you. Take care.